to get this right here, and I'm gonna get into it. Oh, I didn't see you there. Hey guys, this is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101. Here to do more of my walkthrough of this Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. And yeah, this part of the video, you know, we're doing part 12 right now. Anyway, this part was sponsored by the Sonic Underground 2 DVD pack. Sonic Underground The Queen Lena Chronicles and Sonic Underground Dr. Robotnik's Revenge. So let's turn on this Dell Dimension 4600 right now. It's starting up right now, and I'm very excited to use this computer again. I mean, I cannot believe how many years it's been since I've had this computer so much. Like, even though I, like, took a break from using it a long, long time, I'm back to using it as a comeback. And, yeah, man, this computer, I miss him. I miss Windows XP. Wait, why isn't NumLock on? Can you turn it on? Oh, I turned it on. I turned on caps lock, too. <laughs> okay. Now let's log on. Okay, it's logging me in now. Look at how fast it's logging me in. You see that? Look at how fast it's logging me in. Like, the text came in, like, pretty damn quickly. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be a great part. So, yeah. In this part, we're going to do, like, more of the Microsoft Money Tutorial videos. For this one, we're going to be doing, like, about using the Lifetime Planner. And, yeah. And I'm very excited. Yep, it played it. It played the XP startup sound. So, yeah. I am very excited to use this computer. Man. This was my childhood. I remember using Windows XP a lot. Man, 2001 was a great year to begin using Windows XP. A few days before Halloween started. Man, the awesome good years, and they were awesome. I still hope that, um, things could go better. Like, um, I know that, like, two years when Windows XP was around, Sonic X started airing. And I was very pleased about that. I mean, I never even watched Sonic X until, like, 2011. And, um, and I just watched some funny Sonic X music videos. You know, like, for example, Sonic X Beatles. And, yeah, don't forget any other Sonic video I love that concludes with Sonic X on it. And, um, I've also seen parts of these types of, as well, like, Sonic Underground, like, which I've seen the trailer of that from the Super Mario Bros. Super Show DVD I had. It was awesome, and I loved the trailer. So, when is it going to log me on? Come on, dude. I've been sitting in this treadmill. I, I mean, I've been sitting on this treadmill for minutes and minutes. And I can't wait like this, dude. What are you trying to do to me? You know what, dude? Just give me a minute. I... I don't know how long this is taking, but I still need it to load. Viewers, give me a minute. This is starting to take a long damn time. So give me a minute. Sorry about that. I waited like seconds and seconds. I didn't have time to go to the bathroom right now. But Peter's still trying to log me in. Like, how long has it been? Like, five minutes? Oh, I guess everything's showing up. Logging me in now. Oh. Hi, Sonic. <laughs> this picture never gets old. I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. The treadmill is making noises again. All right. Man, I... I freaking miss Windows XP a lot. Like, I never even understand it how Windows XP could be this awesome when, when, in 2018. It's been so awesome these days. I mean, it's such a shame that, that Windows XP has been out of support for, like, about four years now. Like, I, I miss how it ended support. But, I mean, at least I eventually had something really cool on my own. But, 
Yeah, it says cool as these Sonic X. Oh, Sonic Underground DVDs. Sorry about that. I, I almost called them Sonic X DVDs. But anyway, I know it has Sonic Underground DVDs right here sitting beside the computer. But anyway, um, I will be doing this very awesome video on... Yeah, I'll be watching this very awesome video on how to use the Lifetime Planner. And I'll be going to my computer, but yeah. <clears throat> Before I do that, while I wait... I'm going to have to go get myself the thumb drive that I had to get those old videos into. So, I'll be right back. Sorry about this, guys. I'm back now. and um, had to get this thumb drive from the kitchen, so let me plug it in. All right. Where should I... Okay. All right. Let's plug this right here. Oh, it made that sound because I connected something here. Cool. And now that the Le the Lexar thumb drive is connected... Oh. No, I'm not going to copy them. I'm just going to double-click on the thumb drive. <clears throat> and I'm going to need to put this... I'm going to have to put my music... You know, my Playhouse Disney music in there. So, yeah. <clears throat> not that. Also, uh, you know, you know, I have to pause the video for a minute because I have to do it like this. So, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to make a new folder right here. This is where it is. Like, this is the, this is my folder for Playhouse Disney's Imagine and Learn with Music, you know, from the old disc that probably might have been lost. So, yeah. Gonna double click on this folder. Like, and there's all the songs I have right here. That's from the full album. I mean, tracks 12 through 30 might be backwards because they're in the wrong order. It, it, it's probably for no reason, but hopefully when I try to test the songs somehow, I hope they work. So, that's that. Anyway, let's get out of here and just go to the My Computer part. <clears throat> go to Local Disk C. Program Files. Microsoft Money. Media, AV Help, and then we'll go to 9LI. Let's do it. Right, here it is, using the Lifetime Planner. I've been worrying lately. What's going to happen to our finances when we send the kids to college? And when can we afford to retire? We can set up our long-term financial goals and get tailored information with Microsoft Money's Lifetime Planner. That's great. I don't know if this How is a thing anymore. First... We enter information about ourselves, our income, investments, and assets. Then we enter our living expenses, and also any special expenses we expect to have in the future. Oh, things like college tuition, the sailboat, our vacation home. Exactly. Then money shows us whether we'll actually have the cash for these expenses. If our forecast doesn't work at first, money gives us suggestions on how to improve it. Then, when we're done creating our plan, money shows us how to make it a reality. Where did you start? I just started here at the top and worked through each page in order so I could be sure I wouldn't leave anything out. But where did you get all those numbers? Well, money automatically included information from the accounts we've already set up. But there were a few places where I had to get our financial papers. Okay, so what were the results? Our plan doesn't work just yet. See, our forecast goes below zero right here. Well, we can't have that. But we can fix this. First... Let's double-click that year to zoom in on the problem. Oh, we're both retired that year. So how are we going to afford tuition, retire early, and buy a vacation home? Let's use Money's personalized suggestions to refine our plan. Let's see. Money says we could save more money, or reduce our retirement living expenses, or we could retire later. No, no. Retiring early is really important to me. Isn't there anything else we could do? Well, it also says we could buy a less expensive vacation home than we had planned. Let's try that. So, in the Assumptions page, we go to Vacation Home and click Purchase Price. Let's say 150 k That should be good enough. Focus. We can also look more closely at right. other future expenses. As much as I hate the thought, how about if we put off buying our sailboat? Okay. We can just exclude it from our plan for now. So we can include it again later. Right. We're just doing this as a what-if scenario. Let's click Results. Then, Comparing Plans. Now we can compare our changes against the original plan and see how much we've improved. 
Let's check that bottom line again. Looks like we still need to tweak the numbers to get the plan exactly the way we want. But we're getting closer. Remember, Money's suggestions also said we could save more. Okay. Let's go back to the Savings and Investments page for that. In Savings Contributions, we can increase how much we're going to set aside for savings. Now how does it work? Perfect. With those adjustments, we can afford to send all the kids to college, retire at 60, and buy our vacation home. Are we done now? Pretty much. Having a plan is great, but not unless we follow it. Now we go to the action plan, where we can set up reminders about our progress. There are also lots of great suggestions, like how much to save each month and what types of investments we can make. And we can always come back and change something in our plan if our situation changes. This way, we can ensure that our financial plan will really work. And we can feel secure knowing that our dreams and plans for the future can really happen. Exactly. Okay, that will be it for this video on how to use the lifetime planner on this computer. So, um, yeah, on the next part, we'll be learning about creating a budget. And that will be my favorite part of the tutorial, like my favorite tutorial of all time on Microsoft Money 2004. So, yeah. What we're just going to do is that, um, we might have to like, uh, so yeah, um, maybe I might have to test the video probably, like I could play one of the videos and like, I got, okay. For example, I could play this one, DSCN5496. Oh, and this one has to do with the cha-cha slide by, uh, DJ Casper. And, um, he ends right here, and that, that's how he was little, right? Yes, I'm going to be dancing to this song, just to let you know. I'm sure it won't even let me see it. Well, maybe if I... Okay. I could just try watching it, hopefully. Ian wants to do a dance. Um, we're going to get funky. Funky, funky, funky. Everybody dancing. Dance. Clap, 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 clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap your hands. Two left. Take back now, y'all. One hop this time. Right foot, left stop. Left foot, left stop. Cha cha, real smooth. Turn it out. Left. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Right foot, let's stop. Left foot, let's stop. Cha cha, let us know. Then we get funky. To the right. To the left. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. One hop this time. Right foot, let's stop. Left foot, let's stop. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Cross, crisscross. Crisscross. Jump real smooth. Da, da, da. Work. Left. Take it back now, y'all. Two hops this time. Two hops this time. One foot two stops. Left foot two stops. Knees, hands on the knees. Oh yeah. Turn it out. Left. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Oh, it's five. Sorry. Right foot, left stop. Left foot, left stop. Right foot again. Left foot again. Right foot, left stop. Left foot, left stop. Freeze. Everybody clap. To the flow, come on, can you go? Go down low. To the top, like you never, never stop. Bring to the top, one hop. Right 
Back up over there. Go back up over there. Back up. There you go. We're not this time. We're not this time. Reverse. Reverse. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Reverse. 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 Cha cha. There you go. Cha cha. Again. Cha cha. There you go. Cha cha. Again. Turn it out. Yeah. Take it back now, y'all. Two hops, two hops. Two hops, two hops. Right foot, left stop. Left foot, left stop. Yeah. Slide to the right. Slide to the left. Take it back now, y'all. Bye. Bye. Okay, that was a good one. I loved that. Okay, yeah. So, that was awesome. I kind of love that song. I mean, I love the cha-cha slide. It's a it's a great dance. And I remember doing this when I was younger. Wow. So much good childhood memories. Anyway, it's time for me to turn off this computer. All right. Here we go. Bye-bye, Sonic from Sonic Boom. Hope you, Tails, and Uncles, Amy, and Sticks have a great time fighting Eggman. I'm sure I'll be able to see you next time. Bye-bye, all of you. I'll see you next time. Have a great time. <laughs> Bye. Anyway, that's about it for part 12 of the walkthrough of my Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. Stay tuned tomorrow for part 13, which in case I'll be doing the next tutorial of the Microsoft Money 2004 tutorials which the fourth one i'll be doing create a budget which is my which is my favorite tutorial of all time thanks for watching this is colton tackett on sonic boom fan 101 signing off bye